care if the lens cap is off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Zach here. And yes, I have changed the intro here a little bit. Instead of saying, hey guys, Zach here, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> um, so I got back from YouTube DJs Live a few days ago and been thrown right into the busyness of um, another wedding this Saturday. Now, one thing I want to get up there real quick before the wedding, because I think this is kind of neat and I hope it'll work out really well, is um, I'm doing a projector slideshow for their first dance, during their first dance, okay? And you'll see what it's like um, during the gig log. But because of that, the um, where I put the projector is kind of important, and where I have the screen at is kind of important, because I want to keep the dance floor clear. I don't want that to inter you know, something to be in the way to interrupt the dance or anything else. So, and my options in that room, since there are so many people going to be there, are kind of limited. So, where I set my rig up, there's actually going to be a pull-down screen on the wall that's behind me. So I'm going to put my, my rig out a little bit further away from the wall. And on my 10-foot truss, I'm going to mount the projector. And how am I going to do this? Well, I'll show you. Now, keep in mind, we just got back from live a few days ago, and I've been real busy, so the house is a mess. So before I do anything, I'll throw the swimsuit over here. I don't know why it was over there, but anyway. All right, here is our projector. Now, I don't own a projector. John does, and he has two of them. So this is the spare that he's had in a box for over a year. I, never even, I haven't even plugged it in yet to make sure the dang thing works. But uh, anyways, it's an in-focus screenplay 4805 DLP. But this plate here, I'm, I went over to, uh, uh, who is it, JNR Manufacturing or JR Manufacturing here in Chippewa Falls, and had them make a plate for me. So I can mount the projector right to this plate, and I can put two O-clamps through the plate and mount it on top of my truss. I haven't tried this yet. We got it all set up. Actually, John's the one that drilled all the holes because he had a template for the bottom piece of this projector from a plate that he had made before. And um, so I'm going to give it a shot. Set up a five-foot truss here, make sure everything works, and we'll uh, show you guys what it's going to look like. All right, folks, so here it is. On a five foot truss, um, I got two O clamps on it, of course, so I can. Uh, I, it has the strength to pretty much be adjusted to any angle I want. Let's see, we've got to loosen them up a little bit more. But I can tilt this guy whichever way I want. Now, the only thing I'm not able to do, of course, is tilt it side to side. Um, this thing is stuck to this plate, it's screwed in on three points, so I can't really adjust it. And of course, the only other way I could do it is by moving the truss. But the big thing for me is I wanted to be able to move it, um, point it up and down. But for, uh, let's see, the piece of aluminum, the piece of aluminum that I originally got was twice as big as this. So if we get another projector, I can make another one of these for another projector. And then of course the price of the old clamps which is like seven or eight bucks a piece. Um, I got a nice little projector stand that, I mean the projector's on there, the thing ain't gonna fall down or nothing like that. But it'll work great for what I want to do. I want to project the image behind me on a screen that's going to be up higher than myself. Now there's going to be 315 people at this venue. So, let's see, zoom out so I can yak at you. It's supposed to be about 315 people at this venue. And I wanted one day nice screen that was nice and big and high enough up in the air where it's unobtrusive, it doesn't mess with my light show, I don't have to take something, tear something down. You know, after their their dance, I can play music videos later on in the night if I want to. You know, I can, uh, since I'm using virtual DJ there, I can type in messages, congratulations, you know, um, so and so. So, it'll be really nice. Now, not every venue, this is not going to work for every venue, of course. But, there are actually quite a number of venues where, um, where I am, at least, that has a real similar setup to this. So, I can use this at a few different venues, this type of a rig. So, uh, like I said, for the $15 it cost me for aluminum, plus, you know, a couple oak clamps, I think it's well worth it. And it's good, safe, it's out of the way, you know, it's it's totally unobtrusive, it's not in the way of anybody. So I don't have to worry about someone tripping over my projector card and tripping over wires, because everything's going to be, you know, eight, nine feet in the air or whatever, whatever this guy's going to be. And then this, the huge screen is going to be behind me. So the only thing i got to worry about now is throw. So I'm going to do some tests with the throw, see how, 
how far away I do have to be. Of course, with it angled up, you know, it, it'll give me a little bit more distance too since it's going to be angled up in the air. But, um, so anyways, I figured I'd share this with you guys. I don't know if anyone's done anything like that before or not. Um, pretty quick and easy deal, really. Um, John had this done for me in less than an hour. So, anyway, I figured I'd share it with you guys. So, any questions, comments, anything, drop them below, please. And don't worry, I got uh, the last uh, day of YouTube DJ's Live coming. Um, just real busy today. I wanted to get this video up before the wedding, so, you know, you'll see it soon. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Practice and enjoy, and we'll see you later.